Hey guys, it's your boy Slag bringing you another Avabel video. And man, what is this? The third one in a week? Yo, I hope you subs are enjoying, man. Now, let's get into this video. Now, in the event dungeon video, I had told you guys about the bosses and talked a little bit about strategy. And after a couple of dungeons, I started noticing a pattern with the boss, but I also realized going against a boss in an item dungeon, especially if it's just you, a lot different than going against that same boss, be it a lot more health, in the Gorilla Raid Quest, which is what we have here. Now, sorry for the lag. Usually when I get into a raid quest, I lower my settings and, you know, you might see the blue stick figures or you might actually not even see anyone except a little flicker of a person. This time, though, I didn't do that. There wasn't that many people, but, you know, there still was enough lag, so please excuse it. But anyway, one thing I noticed when finding the boss was that he actually tends to lead. Like, he really is dancing. He leads to his right. So, like, you see right here, I'm trying to kind of lead my spells into it. Now, this technique would actually work perfectly you know, with Acolytes, of course, the Mage classes, Rogue, not Rogue, Ranger classes, you know, distance-based classes can pull it off. Now, Monks, Warriors, Rogues, they're going to have a lot tougher of a time, especially because they got to get close and put themselves smack dab in the middle of that Fire and Ice dance that the couple loves to do. Which definitely sucks because I've been hearing a lot of players complaining that this boss tends to be pretty hard. But for me, I don't think that's the case. I mean, yeah, all raid bosses tend to be annoying and it sucks, you know, you go in hoping to get a lot of experience and you catch yourself in the middle of a move and then you die before you've got a chance to you know, get a hit in. I mean, not like that happened to me. I mean, you can't prove it, so it never happened, right? any case, another reason why I wanted to also show the Gorilla Raid is so you guys can get an idea what you're getting into when you get involved. You're going to have a lot of players, definitely an unusual amount of lag. But the good thing about the Gorilla Quest is for every point of damage that you do, you're going to get one point of experience back. Now. I seem to notice that in the level-based raid quest, my rewards were a little bit higher. Like I went into one where it was level 70 to 90, and I wasn't in that long. I just, you know, quick little in oh, 10, 15 minutes. and didn't hit the boss too much because I was actually kind of busy and wasn't able to play too much. But I got close to 400,000 experience. And I was thinking, I didn't put that much damage in. But, eh, what the hell, right? I'm not going to complain. Now, when you reach a higher level, grinding mobs takes forever. So when you know your boss and that raid quest pops up, you can get yourself a lot of experience. Now, if you, like, two, three months back, they were doing the Hell Challenge raid quest. And the bosses we were going up were your normal floor bosses, but they had a hell of a lot more health, and damage was actually quite a bit higher too. But I went up against the floor nine boss, and I got like nine million experience for that battle. But then again, I was in that for hours. So I had a massive level boost after that happened. And since then, I've been hooked on the raid quest and I recommend to everyone, do them. You want to get some quick experience? You want to level up fast? This is probably the best way. Definitely one of the best, if not the best, for when you're a high level. Because once you reach level 70, and it takes, you know, three something, four million experience per level just to level, you know, getting a quick, easy couple of hundred thousand, and if you really stay in the boss fight and not, not just for a few minutes, make a couple of mil, 
It makes it a lot easier. But I want to know what you guys think. Like, first, what do you think of the new boss? I mean, he's annoying, or they're annoying. Especially, I, I was watching the Magician version, not even the Necromancer version, which is harder, but the Magician version, doing that fire and ice beam. And one time, I saw that same beam take out three, four players at once. I was, like, flabbergasted. I mean, I didn't realize that it was able to do that much damage, let alone the fact that it had a splash effect. And the other issue, you know, besides the experience, was the difficulty of the boss. I mean, do you really think it's worth, you know, losing that experience, wasting the dungeon points, and hoping that you did enough damage to balance off whatever debts you got? Because I watch some of these players play, and, you know, sometimes they're in 30 seconds, and they're done. So what do you guys think? Do you think they should uh, lower the damage on the bosses, or do you think it's just fine? I mean, if you ask me, while it's annoying, these are raid quests. They're not meant to be easy. So I think the, I, it's actually pretty good. Still, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. So guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. A nice little quick one. Just want to give you an update, showcase the boss and how you have to deal with it in a raid quest. Because when you have that boss being pushed around, you're going to have mages using the meteor attack, warriors doing that thrust blade or something. Sometimes you'll have problems just trying to hit the boss with a basic attack, let alone some charge up skill. And you know, before I go, actually, let me just say this, guys, when you're in a raid quest, don't be begging healers to be casting the heal ball or selfie heal. Because I'm trying to get my experience and I'm going to give up a chance to hit the boss because you didn't want to bring a potion? I mean, I know that's not the nicest way to deal with it, but hey, I'm coming in this to get the experience points, not to heal. So guys, have some respect to the other he players of the game, specifically the healers, and stop giving them attitude because they won't heal you because they're too busy trying to get the po high points for themselves. If you really feel like you need, I can't dodge enough, that you can't handle the boss that well, then yo, bring some large right, HP pots. They're not as rare as they used to be. Right? Spend a couple of uh, bucks in the gem store. They're, they're going to gift you 99 of them. So guys, I'm going to get going. Turns out I wasn't invited to the wedding reception and they want me to leave. So guys, take care. Like, subscribe. And if you're still looking to join a guild, you know how to find me. Peace.